Welcome to our lesson on general security concepts, focusing on various types of security controls. Today, we will delve into the categories and control types, understanding their roles and implications in a real-world scenario. Security controls can be broadly classified into four categories, technical, managerial, operational, and physical. Each category plays a pivotal role in ensuring the overall security of an organization's assets. Technical controls involve the use of technology to protect assets. These include firewalls, antivirus software, and intrusion detection systems. For example, an antivirus program actively scans for malware, safeguarding sensitive data. Managerial controls are strategies implemented by an organization's management to improve security. These include policies, procedures, and guidelines. A real-world example is the implementation of a security policy that mandates regular password changes. Operational controls are focused on the operational aspects of security. They include security training and awareness programs. For example, regular employee training on phishing helps reduce the risk of social engineering attacks. Physical controls are measures taken to protect physical assets. This includes locks, access control systems, and surveillance cameras. A notable example is the use of biometric access systems to secure data centers. Now let's explore the different types of security controls. Each type serves a specific purpose in a comprehensive security strategy. Preventive controls aim to prevent security incidents before they occur. Firewalls and encryption are classic examples. By encrypting data, organizations can prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. Deterrent controls are designed to discourage potential attackers. Warning signs and security awareness campaigns are typical examples. Displaying a monitored by CCTV sign can deter potential intruders. Detective controls are aimed at detecting and identifying security incidents. Intrusion detection systems and log monitoring are key examples. Corrective controls focus on repairing or restoring resources after a security incident. Examples include antivirus software and patch management. After a virus infection, an antivirus program not only removes the virus, but also repairs damaged files. Compensating controls are alternative measures when primary controls are not feasible. For example, if a software update to fix a vulnerability is not immediately available, additional network monitoring may be implemented as a compensating control. Directive controls are focused on directing, confining, or controlling actions. This includes security policies and procedures. An example is a policy that requires all employees to use VPNs when accessing the corporate network remotely. In conclusion, understanding the different categories and types of security controls is crucial for effective security management.